not quite the Beatles arriving in the United States, but there is a rock star element to it. Mason Wynn has been brought up from Memphis. He's here. He's in the starting lineup, and Cardinal fans are really excited about it. Young lefty for the Cardinals, Zach Thompson's had a good year out of the bullpen. This will be his third career start. Well, number one draft pick uh, back in 2019 out of the University of Kentucky. Big, strong kid. Four seamer throws hard. Brandon Nimmo has a nine game hitting streak. He'll lead things off. And he drives this one well to left center field. Back goes Edmund to the warning track at the wall. It's out of here. Brandon Nimmo opens the night with a leadoff home run. His second time in a week. That's his 11th career leadoff home run, his fourth this year. And just like the one against the Pirates, he hit it to left center. His 18th home run, that's a new career high. Here's Pete Alonzo hitting third in the order tonight. A swing and a miss, a fastball up, strikes him out. So Francisco's now had to hit in five straight games, in the Mets of a two-out base run. And now Alvarez, who has cooled down at the plate. Here's a swing, and the ball is hit on one hop to the second baseman. Vermeen throws out Alvarez. The Mets have a run, and the Cardinals are coming to bat in the bottom of the first in St. Louis. The Mets bring Joey Lucchese back to make his first start since May. Well, Joey's been down for quite some time in Syracuse. The Cardinals have difficulty, like the Mets, with left-hand pitching. Bouncing ball to short to his left. One handing it, Lindor throws to first in time, one away. So a couple of walks in the inning. Bases are loaded, and Jordan Walker is next. Tough task, right, with two outs. We got an opportunity here to put him on the ropes. Check swing, did he go? The pitch in the dirt. He went around, strike three. They appealed to first. John Tampain punches out Walker, and the Cardinals leave him loaded in the first. McNeil batting 257 with five homers. That's it past the mound. Up the middle. Wynn gets to it and throws him out. How smooth was that? Quick Going enough. to the first base side of second. Mason Wynn retires Jeff McNeil. Is that quick enough for you? I mean, that's one of the things we're going to notice from Mason Wynn is just the uh, the extra range that he has. He goes to his left and his right very well, has the big arm too. Grounded toward the hole by Mendick. Great stop by Wynn. Shows off the rifle, but just a little too late. That is an arm. Oh my. Mendick has an infield hit, but Mason Wynn just showed you his number one tool, and the fans here in St. Louis appreciate that. I know there's a lot of mouths wide open thinking, I can't believe he got to that ball number one, and then when he bounced off the turf, he threw a bullet across, and if it's uh, on the money, maybe he gets him. It's very close. Two outs, and here comes Mason Wynn. Ninth, playing shortstop, making his major league debut, and his first major league at bat, number zero, Mason Wynn. What must be going through the Wynn family's heads, and Mason in particular, as he bats for the first time? A swing and a miss on a breaking ball in the dirt. The throw to first base, a strikeout 2 3. We go to the third, 1 0 Mets. So the Mets have two men on. Jeff McNeil, the reigning batting champion in the National League, who's having an off year, is next. And he hits one up the middle, and that's a base hit. Around third comes Lindor. He'll score. Stopping at second is Alvarez. Jeff McNeil with a two out RBI hit. And it's 2 0 New York. 42nd run batted in for McNeil, who's been the Mets' best all year with runners in scoring position. Meanwhile, Lucchese trying to fill in for a traded away Mets rotation is doing a nice job tonight. Swing and a smash towards center. Ortega in, and now back a step, makes the hat high catch, and that retires the side. Lucchese has retired the last 10 that he has faced. And he and the Mets take a 2 0 lead in St. Louis to the fifth. Pete Alonso has been up twice and struck out both times. Mile high fly to center. Edmund going back as far as he can go. And he leaps up and makes the grab for out number two. It was a nice play by Tommy Edmund in center field. And I love the patience of Tommy Edmund. I mean, he knew the ball was going to come down eventually, but he got to the wall and he didn't overreact. He took the right time to jump up and make the play right up against the top of the wall. I think that would have been gone. Out number two, and here's Wynn for the second time. Family looking on here in St. Louis. Mason Wynn, the youngest shortstop since Gary Templeton to play for the Cardinals. Little chopper hit toward third. That ball is going to be late at first. Infield hit for Mason Wynn. There's his first in the big leagues tonight. We talked all about the skill set of Mason Wynn. We told you about the speed. Shows off some of it right there for his first major league hit as his family looks on and cheers. The Wizard 
cheering for the young Mason win. Great moment. Now somebody barking at John Tumpain, the first base umpire. I wonder if they're arguing and yelling at Pete Alonso on that infield hit. I saw Alonso throw a ball in the stands. If that was the base hit for Mason Wynn that piece of baseball history was tossed into the fans rather than into the Cardinals dugout now the pitch swung on and missed strike three a 91 mile an hour fastball Pete Alonzo will not win man of the year in St. Louis at least tonight no runs a hit one left into the end of five it's the Mets two the Cardinals nothing someone barely retrieved that baseball and took it up the concourse so maybe it will eventually end up in possession of Mason Wynn. And the bases are loaded now. Contreras at third, O'Neill at second, Walker at first with two down. Alec Burleson, he gets the nod. He's going to be hitting for Luke and Baker. And he struck him out. Beckford goes upstairs to strike out the pinch hitter Burleson. And for the second time tonight, the Cardinals leave the bases loaded. Joey Lucchese, five and two thirds scoreless. He's got a two nothing lead. So now you'll hear the hand for Pete Alonso, so to speak. Mason wins first big league hit. Alonso either knowingly or didn't. We won't know until after the game. Took the ball through it in the stands rather than into the Cardinals dugout. Ball was later retrieved, it appears, so no harm done. And he takes it up and in ball four, and the bases are loaded with nobody out. So here's Lindor, who's two for three tonight. 73 RBIs for the year, and he's got a bunch right now. That's lined toward the middle of the diamond. Short hop by Wynn. He steps on second, now throwing home, oh. and Nimmo safe. He had a play at third, which is where he should have gone but Nimmo comes home win playing his first big league game short hop the ball he can't go home here he, you know what he believes in his arm yes, and he, he thought does. he could beat Nimmo home but it, that's just too hard to play and and he's got Locastro there dead to right and between look, second and third and it's just a youthful mistake here a little over exuberant well, right now Mail is looking for that ground ball off the bat of Alvarez the one two pitch is hit through the vacant right side that's a base hit LeCastro scores, Lindor goes to second, and Francisco Alvarez on a simple base hit the other way makes it 4 0 Mets in the top of the seventh. So the failure of the Cardinals to turn two on the previous play cost them a run. Neal an RBI single tonight. Yeah, McNeil slams one to right field. Back goes Walker to the warning track, right at the fence, and it's out of here. Jeff McNeil with a three run homer, and the Mets put the hammer down in the seventh inning. Sixth home run of the year for McNeil, a three-run shot, and it's 7-0 New York. A four-RBI night for Jeff McNeil as the Mets have scored five times in the seventh inning for a 7-0 lead. We go to the bottom of the ninth, 7-0 New York. Yes. Dennis Santana worked through the eighth. He'll start the ninth. And here again, Mason Wynn in the air to right center. That grab is made for out number two. Ortega's got that. So Mason wins first major league game, one for four. And those that are left give him a nice ovation. Welcome to the show, young man, and congratulations. So Richie Palacios, the final hope for the Cardinals. That's down the line. That's down for a hit. That's going to spoil the shutout. Richie Palacios goes the other way and makes it a 7-1 game. That was a nice approach and an even better result. So now Paul Goldschmidt who has already struck out three times tonight and he lifts one to shallow center. On comes Ortega coming on. He's there. He makes the catch and the ball game is over. Cardinals break up the shutout in the ninth but this one belongs to the Mets. Their third straight win five in their last six and the Mets on a happy roll right now. They win tonight seven to one.